Okay guys, it's Swiss Moist the Learning Python Dinada Sana. You're welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to cover how you can convert the HTML page to PDF, how you can generate PDF reports in the Django, and how you can download it, how you can create invoice, anything relating to PDF report or PDF document. So here is a quick demo before we start the session. As you can see, this is HTML page with user ID 16, right? I can refresh here. You can see the name is Moses. So, and this is actually a page which contains other users. So when I click download, let's say this is the page for downloading PDF reports, maybe for employee, for student, whatever. So when I click here, download, okay, you may see I'm able to download the uh, PDF okay file with a specific from or from a specific user right let me click here download in oil okay so you can see here user noel so this is actually how you can if you have a, you're creating a Django system which allows end user to download the uh, pdf report so this is a quick way on how you can create a pdf report and how you can enable them to download it as I've told you that, I'll try out um, to uh, actually to teach this um, concept in a very simple way, right? As you can see here, this is HTML page, a normal HTML page. So when I click here, let me say PDF, I'm able to download that page. Okay, you may see the introduction is too long, but it, let me let me free up your mind that the content to be lectured is very small compared to uh, introduction of this course of this channel I mean of this session I will not cover this everything this uh, this as uh, just advance the concept I'll just show you, you know, on how you can get here but the key concept you're going to cover is how we can actually make this page I mean the home page what is it please how we can download this pdf i think from here it will give you the bigger picture on how you can uh, do those stuff for generating and downloading pdf report converting html page to pdf so let's go guys to finish to finish up this session So here we go. Actually, you need it first of all. You actually need it to download the uh, wh wk html pdf, and this is actually the website. So you here you can choose a setup uh, uh, for Windows if you sixty four or thirty two whatever, and these are for Linux and the I mean Ubuntu, Mac OS, whatever. But the coverage of this session is how you can do this on Windows. Okay. But I think it maybe uh, compared to another operating system like Ubuntu, Debian, Mac OS, CentOS, whatever, the difference will be the installation. I think how to use it will actually be the same or actually resembles. So after downloading and the installation of this uh, WKHTML PDF, the next thing is to um, install pdf kit after that you will be good to start your uh your session actually i'm using vs code as my coding editor so the first thing to do is make sure you import pdf kit then after this is actually the path of uh executable wk html pdf okay so just see uh, do something like this get to the path configuration and a uh, Whatever. So the first thing we are going to do here is actually to create a Django view with the name home. Okay, and this will actually be um, will it actually be displaying the normal HTML uh, page. So here is Litani render. It is Litani render. Okay, so here is a request. And a comma, okay, call slash k home dot html. 
I actually have this HTML file in uh, my project and uh, it almost contain very few content. You can see uh, these are the basic HTML uh, attributes. Uh, what has been added is just the H1 with hello world text. Okay, that's clear. So after creating the Django view, the next thing you are going to do here is to uh, put this um, uh, function to our URL. So I'll copy this line and put it here. Okay, so I want this to be displayed at the root of our application. And here, what I can actually do, I can say this is home, right? So this is home. Uh, then after, the name of the view is actually home. That's clear. Cool. So after that, when we get back on our browser trying to refresh, you should be able to see something like this, okay? We can actually change this, okay? If you see, maybe... Uh, these things has been cooked before the beginning of the session. You can see if we change the content changes. Okay, but that's not our purpose. So after that, let us uh, use um, wkhtml to PDF to create an HTML page. So here, after importing this and making configuration, the next thing here, let's create the Django function with the name generate PDF generate uh, PDF okay we'll put a request uh, request so after request let's do something like this okay so here we can say PDF is equal to PDF kit okay PDF kit dot from URL bracket request request dot build uh, absolute url dot build absolute url that's cool then after reverse so we are actually directing our WKHTML to create a PDF from uh, home, okay, from home. I, I think you, you you know what is home. Home is, like, actually, this is um, the name, this is a view, and this is the path. So put the name, okay, name is home. So generate the HTML, generate PDF from home view, I mean from home, whatever. Okay, then after, um, I put a bracket. Okay, there's something false. Then after, there's something configuration. Okay, configuration. Configuration is equal to config. The configuration we created it when we imported it, PDF kit. That's cool. So after that, response, this is very really straightforward. So response is equal to HTTP response PDF content type, actually it's content, content underscore type. Is equal to uh, application slash PDF. Okay, so let's pause. Content disposition, content uh, disposition. It's equal to attachment, attachment, okay, file name, the name of the file, so I can say, uh, I can say file name, 
you can put a custom name but i'm putting a general name we see which is um, file name html and after what you can do here is return response i think this is a call uh, okay generate pdf request pdf pdf kit dot from url bracket request dot build absolute 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 as correct spelling absolute url reverse home false configuration i think everything is okay so after that let us go to our urls here so what we can actually do here is we can copy this okay we can copy this we have here we can paste it here and here we can say this is not cv but is uh, control d let's say this is pdf okay let us put capital letter here pdf that's cool so as i've told you that the explanation uh, what is actually being done here is to create a pdf with the name file.html but from view home okay the content from view home will be created uh and this content will be converted to uh pdf so let's try out to do something like this uh we know the path is a uh, mini pdf okay is it pdf uh, something uh see your l can say uh it's actually supposed to be something like this okay pdf so when we refresh here okay build the absolute url request has no Okay, reverse home false configuration request.bod absolute url home. Okay, something seems correct. Request has no attribute build absolute url. Let's see. Okay. So it is requested.bod I think it's URI. This correct. Okay, so let us try to refresh. That's cool. You can see we are able to download the, the content from home. Okay. And anything what, what will be done here. Any changes will be done here. Will actually be um, downloaded. The, uh, let's say background color. Okay, let's say background color. Let's put this antiqua. And when we refresh this, um, when we try out to refresh uh, home, you can see this. When you come here and try out to actually download it will be able to get this so when you say pdf so i'll actually open this okay you can see that's cool so actually this sum up the end of this session but to put bonus for you is probably uh you may need the actual um to download the um report from a specific user or you know, like by using id something like this okay like what you can see here this view can actually uh, generate uh, it renders uh, the report for user with id 16 right you can see here the user with id 16 is moses right so what i i, I what you can actually do when you actually want to uh, generate a pdf report or uh, render an html page which has id 
Now you want to render it into PDF, you can actually do something like this. Let me show you something very simple. What you can add here, okay, you can see here we ended it on uh, reverse and we put or we actually specified the name of our, okay, the name of our view, I mean, whatever. What you can actually hear, you can add another argument. Okay, you can see add another argument, argument which is PK. So, like what can be done here? So, when you put, uh, say, when if uh, you also will execute this view with ID maybe nine, it will actually download the, uh, the whatever the report, the profile, uh, the invoice, whatever of a specific uh, user. So this is what you can do. You can add another, okay, add this argument PK, okay? And this you pass here, you pass PK, here you pass PK, okay, generate CV, and when you come here in URL, generate CV uh, here, you do something like this, CV slash, it's actually the same, okay? What you're actually trying to do here is to instruct WKHTML to generate the view for this. And this is uh, for this page, okay, user with ID 16. And this is what has actually been done here. So this view, this user, it actually display uh, the all users present in your database. As you can see here, user.objects.all. And uh, when I come here, you can see I'm using loop for loop to loop over the returned user from um, the Django backend and display them on this page. What I'm actually doing here is, you can see the link here is a CV and a user.pk, okay? User.pk. And when you come here and CV, in URL, you can see CV path pk. Then I get the... Uh, I mean, the profile of a user or report. So when I click here, demoses, um, you can see, you can see demoses. So underneath, you can actually customize this report, you put your own data and so on. But this is actually for advanced, a little bit um, person who has, uh, has experience coding in Django. But if you are an, in a beginner in Django or an intermediate, just rendering, just being able to render this uh, HTML page to PDF is a um, big, uh, big step, much appreciation and much salute. I think it, let's end up here. Uh, don't forget to like it, put comment, share, and subscribe. Let me thank you by eight inter different international languages. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Muchas gracias. Muito obrigado. Kamza Hamida. Aita Danke. I hope to see you in my coming tutorials. Never miss on every Tuesday we put a new video. Thanks.